On behalf of the SPU faculty, staff, and Board of Trustees, welcome to the 2021 Commencement Ceremony for Seattle Pacific University. 125 years after our first graduating class in 1896 and my first commencement as Provost of SPU. As a Christian university, we recognize that we are a people who are formed by a story. Our story at Seattle Pacific is tied to the land that this campus is built on, a land that holds rich and far too often forgotten histories. As we begin this event, I respectfully acknowledge with gratitude that our campus is on the lands, both ceded and unceded, of the various tribes and bands of the Coast Salish peoples, people who are still here today. Graduates, your class has the distinct historical claim of carrying out nearly half of your studies amidst a global pandemic. You have carried so much this year on top of your typical course load to reach this milestone. Just like our world, you have changed since the time you entered SPU. You have grown as individuals. You have grown in your intellectual capacity and in your ability to think critically and analytically. I am so proud of who you have become and are becoming. Our celebrations look and feel different than in years prior, but I would still like to recognize our graduates, family, and friends, those who even now may be watching and cheering from laptops and phones around the world. Maybe you are gathered together in your homes to watch this ceremony. Wherever you may be, however you may be celebrating, I am confident our graduates join me in saying thank you for your significant contributions, support, and encouragement along the way. God's grace and peace to all who may be watching. Over the past 15 months, the COVID pandemic has powerfully disrupted all of our lives. I think of those whose health has been impacted, families and friends who have lost loved ones, of healthcare workers and other first responders working for so long on the front lines, those who have lost jobs, and those who have had to navigate remote working and learning environments. We have also seen injustices in our society and world that were too often hidden or overlooked, laid bare, and our hearts have been broken as we have asked, how long, O oh Lord, how long will you hide your face from us? But we have also seen individual people stand together to lament and call for change. And I think about the ways that we have been forced in this past year to slow down and to take stock of the things that are most important in our lives, the new ways that we have found to create and sustain friendships, the new hobbies we have had time to try out, the ways we have learned to sit in silence and just breathe. Wherever you find yourself as you participate in this event, I am reminded that there is a big distinction between where you graduate and where you graduate from. The former is defined by what you can see, while the latter by what you cannot, for it represents the values, beliefs, and our educational commitment to Christ excellence and service as grounded in the Christian liberal arts that has shaped who you are, how you think, and I hope will give contour and definition to your path forward, reflecting the optimism of grace and the character of God, love, justice, mercy, and truth. I am so pleased that you are graduating from Seattle Pacific University on this day. From the moment you arrived on campus, you have had a community around you, cheering you on towards this day, the day that you would leave this place, the day that you would commence the next chapter of your vocational journey. For some of you, the journey to and from SPU as your academic home follows the footsteps of parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, siblings, cousins, and others in your family who have attended SPU. 
I am so happy the SPU legacy has continued for your family. For others, you are the first in your family to graduate college, but because of your perseverance, you will not be the last. You have created a new legacy. I want to acknowledge and congratulate our international students, many of whom faced particularly challenging obstacles in the face of COVID. Additionally, Seattle Pacific is proud to participate in the Yellow Ribbon Program and have the privilege of educating those who are veterans or are newly commissioned to serve in the military. We recognize you and thank you for your service. To all of our graduates, we not only celebrate and acknowledge your achievements, but we are also marking a moment when we anticipate your service to the world as you move forward from this place on the path God has for your future. Again, congratulations. May God richly bless you and this meaningful moment in your life today. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever wilt be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning Would you pray with me? Father God, creator of heaven and earth, Jesus Christ, lover of our souls, Holy Spirit, our great comforter, our teacher, and our counselor, we draw near to you today. God, we gather together to celebrate this good work in each one of our graduates.
God, we thank you for this day of celebration. These students who have persevered through countless papers and projects, for some a ton of sleepless nights and many hours of studying. God, I'm so grateful for the relationships that they've cultivated with their peers, with the faculty, with the staff, with professionals in the community that they've met in their industries, through their internships, with their community partners that they've served and invested in. God, we give thanks. God, this last part of their academic marathon did not go as planned. Life threw us one unexpected thing after another. For some of us, there were challenges pain, trauma, maybe moments of feeling very alone and asking God, how in the world do I keep moving forward? I feel like I'm not going to make it. But God, they did it. They persevered. They figured out how to do the next right thing. Graduates, you figured it out and you made it today and we give praise and thanks. And so today we hold the reality of life, our hopes, our dreams, and the truth that looks different today. We have a learning that we've held our laments and yet also grown in resilience. Our dreams will be imagined, our hopes birthed anew. And this hope empowers our expectancy and our looking forward. So God, let us embrace the joy of this celebration, marking the significant moment, these accomplishments that these graduates' degrees are being conferred today. God, you make things anew. You bring new life. You are the God of hope in the unexpected. You love us far beyond what we can imagine, and you know each one of us by name. You look at each graduate and believe that they are remarkable, beautiful human beings created with purpose. They have the capacity to flourish and to thrive and to be a part of bringing new life and goodness into this world. God, in all circumstances, may we not forget that we are valuable, that our worth is in you, in who we were created to be, marked by your deep and abiding love for us that does not hold back. May we know this goodness and love today. And may we know the deep and abounding love of our family, of our friends, of you, all of those that have been on this journey with us and celebrate with us today. And so we give thanks for those who have accompanied us on this journey, who have walked with us, invested in us, the people who have sacrificed for us and believed in us. We give thanks. And now we get to celebrate the President's Citation Award, and hear these words of wisdom and encouragement from one of our alumni, Jeanette Ramos. May we be empowered to live more and more into our callings and purposes with strength, endurance, mercy, and justice rooted in the deep and abiding love of God. We pray all of these things in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This year, in my role as provost, I have the great honor of announcing the President's Citation Honor to an exemplary undergraduate student. The Seattle Pacific University President's Citation Honor is given each year to a graduating senior who exemplifies the mission and vision of this university and is among those students with the highest academic standing in his or her class. Today, it is my distinct privilege to present the 2021 President's Citation to Kelly Cobb. Derek Wood, interim co-dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, will now share a few words in honor of Kelly. Kelly Cobb is an exceptional student and a deep thinker who applies her knowledge and experience to make the world a better place. She is graduating summa cum laude with a remarkable 3.98 GPA as an electrical engineering major. Kelly's professors commend her academic competence saying that she works well alone and in teams, is strong in both theory and practice, and attends to detail while effectively grasping the bigger picture. This year, she pioneered the integration of a computer science team in support of her engineering senior design project, modeling the collaboration that is essential to success in her discipline. Kelly served as an electrical engineering lab assistant and on the Engineering Student Council, where Dr. Melanie Plett describes her as extremely reliable, 
consistently positive, and having a contagious can-do spirit in a servant's heart. Kelly's compassion for the marginalized is evidenced by her three years of investment in urban involvement through the John Perkins Center. After participating at Urban Plunge in 2018, a five-day immersive learning experience engaging homelessness, she led the program as its coordinator for the last two years. During this time, she has helped many students wrestle with difficult questions around the issues of homelessness. Kelly is eager to follow Jesus faithfully and to both love and serve those around her. Dr. James Walker, who helps facilitate an engineering and computer science faculty and student Bible study, which Kelly sometimes has led, says her biblical insights and spiritual maturity are well beyond her years. It is with great pleasure that we present Kelly Cobb with the 2021 President's Citation. Congratulations, Kelly. I hope your loved ones will celebrate you well today. I take great pride in knowing that graduates of Seattle Pacific University can be found all over the world, acting as agents of hope, living out the very embodiment of our mission, to graduate people of wisdom, competence, and character who model grace-filled community. And we never have to look very far to see alumni in our own city tirelessly working to influence and change the world through their leadership and love. I have also seen a thread running through this entire year, beginning perhaps with the pandemic, but one could argue it began long before COVID came on the scene. A thread weaving its way into the narrative about how we consider work, leadership, and livelihood. You may recall that the autumn quarter Days of Common Learning focused on this very theme, the future of work. I am pleased to introduce you to someone I believe has her eyes set on the future of work, who knows the pressures facing various industries during this disruptive year, who has had a heart for this city and a commitment to live out her message of hope in all circumstances. Please welcome SPU's 2019 Alumna of the Year and a member of our Alumni Strategic Initiative, Jeanette Ramos. Jeanette's journey with Seattle Pacific University began with the MBA program, where she was trained in, quote, another way of doing business, and graduated in 1994. Prior to SPU, she earned her Bachelor of Science from Washington State University and began working for the Boeing Company during the summer of her sophomore year, where she joined as one of Boeing's first environmental engineers. After graduating SPU, she completed her education by enrolling in Harvard Business School's Advanced Management Program. Not only is Jeanette an active leader in the community and a mentor to young multi-ethnic professionals, but prior to retiring, she was a senior vice president at Boeing. She has also served three terms on the Board of Trustees for the Nature Conservancy in Washington, and she's been involved in the community roles in the Executive Development Institute, the National Organization on Disability, and the American Heart Association. If these incredible devotions to nonprofits and service are not enough, in 2017, Jeanette was named the Asian American Executive of the Year by the Society of Asian Scientists and Engineers and listed among the Puget Sound Business Journal's Women of Influence in 2018. And most recently, she began serving on the Board of Regents at Washington State University in 2020. At Boeing, Jeanette oversaw the production and sourcing of supplies from all 50 states and 57 other countries. To put things in perspective for you, each 787 Dreamliner contains about 2.3 million parts. Graduates, as you take flight from SPU, may you too keep your eyes to the future. May you each with the skills you've learned here and the resiliency you've mastered in these surreal times, move beyond being graduates of competence to achieving new heights of excellence. It is now my very great privilege to welcome a wonderful leader in our community, Jeanette Ramos. Thank you, Provost Hartley, for the kind introduction. First and foremost, speaking as an alum like you, I extend my hearty congratulations to the 2021 Seattle Pacific University graduates. You are triumphant in the face of a global pandemic the world continues to experience. 
You are emerging as leaders, and I pray you will take the lessons learned to guide us into a stronger future. Now I must admit that I miss the in-person interaction of a normal graduation. I know that in this digital world, you can choose to fast forward or speed play through this segment of your virtual graduation. But I hope that you stay with me and hear my sincere admiration for you. I promise to be brief in sharing my thoughts on your journey ahead. It is truly my honor to celebrate with you today. I vividly recall the emotion I felt 27 years ago when I received my SPU MBA. Perhaps now I qualify to be your speaker simply because I recently crossed the threshold to becoming a senior citizen. To ensure relevance to you today, I did some homework and I spent time with some of you to listen and learn from your recent SPU experiences. Also, my own daughter is a senior in high school this year. I have some context for virtual education and am inspired by all the adjustments made to ensure academic excellence. What I heard from you was a resounding confidence that SPU prepared you for the future to take on challenges for justice, peace, and faith. At the same time, I heard hope in your voices, stronger than fear of uncertainty or disappointments in our midst. The world's confounding challenges of inequality, planet health, economic divides, terrorism, senseless gun violence, homelessness, and more weigh heavy in your hearts. I have had a heavy heart at times overwhelmed with the added knowledge that over three and a half million people have lost their lives to COVID. Millions of others endured the effects and all the frontline workers endeavored to comfort the suffering. But I heard your courage to lean into helping the global community. While each one of us alone cannot solve all problems, you know that together we have the power to help build and renew. I feel all the more optimistic with your stories. I reflected on my own history as a source of resilience. My grandfathers were both prisoners of war and survived the Bataan death march of World War II as veterans in the United States Air Force and Army. They taught me honor and humility. My grandmothers were devout Catholics. They taught me faith. I'm proud of my family of courageous veterans, where my brother was in the Navy, my sister in the Army, uncles and cousins in the Coast Guard and Marines. They invested in the freedom of this country, like you have invested in your education to make the world a better place. Sometimes life takes you on a journey that isn't standard or sequential. My father served in the U.S. Air Force then went on to college and was a modern pioneer for dads who stayed home while my mother, after having four children, finished medical school in Connecticut. Dad went on to open a small business. My mom focused on mental health as a psychiatrist. Both my parents instilled the values of integrity, perseverance, and hard work. With a solid foundation of role models and values, I set out to do my part for the world. I cleaned offices, worked in my dad's business, was an early adopter of personal computers, collected sanitary sewer samples, and worked to better the environment. I discovered a passion for aerospace and found myself leading thousands of people from the C-suite of a large company. After over 40 years in the workforce, I reflected on practices that helped me through my career for the purpose of sharing with you, I have organized three practices that I found essential to leadership. Focusing on people, finding perspective, planning but adapting as needed. Combined with a steadfast commitment to the values I learned from my family, I offer these thoughts for you to consider on your path forward. For people, working together, we landed on the moon and are now preparing for Mars. Why work together? Because I truly believe that I have witnessed that the whole is greater than the sum of each part. 
We know that our current human foundation is fragile. Racism, polarity in politics, and divisive elements aim to be destructive. I grew up keenly aware of racism, for I am a brown person, born in a different country, educated in the U.S., but discounted at times for who I am. My parents protected us, but we felt the unwelcome corners of this country. The enlightened know that we need each other more than ever. Prayers must combine with practice. My first P is for people, because we must be steadfast with respect, caring, listening, and communication. I practice respect and diversity and invite collaboration to move positively forward. Perspective. I have found that opening my aperture for context and imagining being in each other's shoes builds empathy and creates innovative ideas. We are an interconnected system of seven billion people in the world, and there is only one planet Earth. Practicing perspective means lifting your eyes, opening your ears, observing the big picture, and taking action where you find purpose. Find time to be mindful and present. Be aware that nature is something we ought not take for granted. Technology is changing our lives at exponential speeds, and access to a healthy economy is essential for meeting human needs. In this context, I see abundant opportunities for SPU graduates to innovate and lead communities to thrive. For planning, this is a practice I learned early on. John Bon Jovi once said, it's okay to map out your future as long as you do it in pencil. What I'm really trying to convey here is that you can be your authentic self with a vision and a plan. Build on your values as a foundation. You choose your purpose with your passion. I pivoted from medicine to environmental work in aerospace. It's okay to have plan B. I have always invested in lifelong learning to improve my plans. Adapting plans to fulfill a vision makes for an adventurous journey in life. Be open and courageous to take on opportunities along the way. Well, there you go. My simple 3P practices for leaders. Focus on people, maintain perspective, plan to achieve your authentic self and adapt as needed. Along with prayers, faith, and reflection, I am optimistic that the SPU class of 2021 is prepared to lead the world. Your leadership is all the more crucial because our challenges are so great. Solutions need not be binary. Pluralism and communities can thrive, embrace diversity, Seek each other out to collaborate for the future. Support each other and build on ideas together. We are not alone. In my most challenging times, my personal mantra is that integrity prevails, where trust is built with truth, transparency, and inclusion. You are our hope and inspiration for the future. The community is stronger with your presence, and for that, I am enormously grateful. To all of your families, friends, the SPU professors, and all who strive to make SPU a welcoming community of diverse perspectives, integrated with Christian faith, thank you for all that you do. I want to thank my husband, Chris, and my daughter, Ariel. I truly would not be here without their love and support. A friend from Egypt once shared a prayer with me, written by John O'Donoghue, an Irish poet, philosopher, scholar, and once a priest. The poem has inspired me and many colleagues through my years of leadership practice. I will conclude with this prayer, my fourth personal practice. For a leader, may you have the grace and wisdom to act kindly, learning to distinguish between what is personal and what is not. May you be hospitable to criticism. May you never put yourself at the center of things. May you act not from arrogance, but out of service. May you work on yourself, building up and refining the ways of your mind. May those who work for you know you see and respect them. 
May you learn to cultivate the art of presence in order to engage with those who meet you. When someone fails or disappoints you, may the graciousness with which you engage be their stairway to renewal and refinement. May you treasure the gifts of the mind through reading and creative thinking so that you continue as a servant of the frontier. Where the new will draw its enrichment from the old and you never become a functionary. May you know the wisdom of deep listening, the healing of wholesome words, the encouragement of the appreciative gaze, the decorum of held dignity, the springtime edge of the bleak question. May you have a mind that loves frontiers so that you can evoke the bright fields that lie beyond the view of the regular eye. May you have good friends to mirror your blind spots. May leadership be for you a true adventure of growth. Congratulations on graduating from SPU and God bless. Jeanette, thanks for sharing those meaningful words with us. Let me also express my appreciation to Dr. Stephen Newby for sharing his vocal gifts with us today and to Dr. Danny Helseth and all of the talented student musicians who have contributed so beautifully to our pre-recorded music for this ceremony. We are about to begin the awarding of the degrees and Cedric Davis, chair of the SPU Board of Trustees, will play an important part in this. Will the candidates for the baccalaureate degree, that is all the graduating students, please stand as you are able wherever you are watching from today. Chair Davis, I proudly join the faculty in acknowledging the achievements of the graduating class of 2021. These women and men have reached another important milestone in their pursuit of lifelong learning. While Seattle Pacific has been a means of nurturing them, they have brought much to our lives as well. The faculty of Seattle Pacific University has had the privilege in participating in a program of rigorous learning with these candidates. They have been examined on the quality of their scholarship and the faculty recommends them to you. As a member of the Board of Trustees, I can tell you that the Board watches students' achievements with great interest and pride. Many of us, including myself, our SPU alumni, and all of us have a very deep commitment to this university. The board has received the recommendations of the faculty and executive in charge, and is pleased to authorize the conferring of baccalaureate degrees upon the graduates of the class of 2021. On recommendation of the faculty, and with the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the State of Washington, I confer upon each of you the baccalaureate degree with all the honors, rights, privileges, and obligations appertaining thereto. Students and families, this is time for applause. It is now time for a familiar ritual, a simple act that symbolizes the completion of the baccalaureate degree. You may now move the tassels on your mortarboard from the right side to the left. Congratulations. Graduates, you may be seated. We will present the candidates this afternoon by the school or program in which they have earned a degree. Dr. Kara Wall Scheffler and Dr. David Neenhaus will be reciting names of all graduates today. We now recognize those receiving baccalaureate degrees in the School of Business, Government, and Economics. Aaron K. Akamine, cum laude. Naomi Yu Akiyama, cum laude. Naja Omar Ali. Abdullah Alomari. Hannah Deborah Alvarez. Sarah Kiyoko Amano, cum laude. Estefanos Delidil Asmare. Steward Au. 
Robert Farrell Banks, Tracy G. Bents, Shuv Singh Bular, Cum Laude, Matthew Aubrey Bowers, Rachel M. Brack, Gracie Ann Brown. Kiera Evie Brownlee, Cum Laude. Navjit Buttar. Kelly Kai. Nathaniel Key Campbell, Cum Laude. Talon Marie Kampfer, Cum Laude. Nathaniel John Allen Canny, Cum Laude. Fiona Capel, Magna Cum Laude. Imani L. Carey. Spencer Adrian Ceballos. Suntash Papachan Chempaka Sherel, Magna Cum Laude. Su Yen Jackie Chen. Trent R. Clark. Annie Cornai, Magna Cum Laude. Carissa Jeray Cox, Summa Cum Laude. Emily Nicole Crowen. Megan Grace Curry. Goretti Davila. Destiny N. Davis. Olivia Dillon. Hunter Ryan Dimitrovich. Serena Nicole Donaldson. Jillian R. Edgar. Quasi Ellis. Annalie Bess Erickson. Magna Cum Laude. Alexia N. Estrada. Padraig Fian. Richard J. Fly. Amy J. Frederick, Cum Laude. Alexander Fontanilla Fulgencio, Jr. Jack M. Geller. Emily Ann Geringer, Cum Laude. Ian Scott Gibson, Cum Laude. Mark Gonatisa. America Elizabeth Graham, Summa Cum Laude. Jenna Michelle Haynes, Cum Laude. Emma L. Heyman, Magna Cum Laude. Alia M. Hammond, Magna Cum Laude. Kathy Hancock, Cum Laude. Connor J. Hancock. Olivia Claire Heal, Summa Cum Laude. Lars Talia Helleran. Ryan Ashken Hodge, Magna Cum Laude. Su Shun Shu, Cum Laude. Sean Caleb Hussey, Magna Cum Laude. Cade Joseph Houston, Magna Cum Laude. Ellie Wynn, Cum Laude. Edgar Ibarra. Jacob Irwin. Zane M. Johnson. Kenneth Cow, Cum Laude. Lincoln John Keller, Magna Cum Laude. Ryan Alexander Kennedy, Cum Laude. Renee Lee Nepper, Magna Cum Laude. Natasha Elise Koval, Cum Laude.
Zahida Kerchich. John Martin H. Lee. Angelica Lesnenko. Emily Lee. Matthew Albert Lee. Sarah Jean Liebel. Jordan Blake Liggins. Rachel Marie Lilly, summa cum laude. Gabrielle Marie Loftus, cum laude. Colby Jonathan Logan, magna cum laude. Kayla Mitsuko Look. Samantha Lopez. Aaron Sage Lumpkin. Nathaniel Thomas Madera. Aidan M. Manley. Megan Elizabeth Martin, summa cum laude. Ian Alexander Magia, cum laude. Alyssa Renee Metzger. Ashley Sarah Muoko, summa cum laude. Kaylee Marie Mullings. Taufig Talat Nagro. Mohammed Nimatalahi. Jordan Carmen Nye. Miguel Numa. Quan Nguyen. Samuel C. Nguyen. Inna A. Nikishina, cum laude. Patrick Noonan, cum laude. Antonio V. Ovina, magna cum laude. Logan Kyle Parcel. Jack C. Parisi. Madeline M. Peebles. Rachel Celeste Peters, cum laude. Joseph Nathaniel Poole, cum laude. Tatiana Marie Quezada. Taylor Brianna Ragsack. Elisha Yuk Chi Ho Ramones. Cum laude. Grant Rasmussen. Kylie Elizabeth Reese. Cum laude. Demi Lee Reeves. Cum laude. Rachel Ann Regner. Magna cum laude. Kara Ashley Reams. Cum laude. Nicole Marie Riggins. Ethan Michael Sager, magna cum laude. Jacob McLachy Shafty. Connor Blakely Schwartz. Paul H. Shin, cum laude. Andrew Joseph Sierra. Benique Harmony Skelton. Renee Suzanne Smith, summa cum laude. William Dale Smith. Hyun Jong Song. Bennett C. Spencer. Andrew P. Stetz, magna cum laude. Lindsay Stricko, magna cum laude. Katie Sugino, cum laude. Travis Bryden Swallow, summa cum laude. Samantha Andrea Swayze, cum laude. Cha Mun Tan, magna cum laude. Fiona Catherine Taylor, cum laude. 
Luke Lambert Taylor Nicholas G. Turhar, cum laude Weiran Tien, cum laude David Scott Trent Christoph Im Tai, magna cum laude Aurelio Valdez Barajas Brenda Valencia Flores Jack Van Dyke Joshua Daniel Villavicencio Isabel Faith Walker, magna cum laude Michaela Bliss Ware Mia Ann Yodpet Warstler Grayson Werner James Raphael Wisby Yarbrough Sloan E. Woodcock Yolanda Wu Amanda Jade Young, cum laude Rebecca Zander, summa cum laude. Abigail Cook Zeller. We now recognize those receiving baccalaureate degrees in the School of Education. Emily Charlotte Miller, magna cum laude. Sharon Scarlett Nino Perez, cum laude. Katie Ann Vongkumchun. We now recognize those receiving baccalaureate degrees in the School of Health Sciences. Michaela Eve Abweg, cum laude. Sierra A. Atkins. Grace Ann Blay, magna cum laude. Evelise Brown. Ashley Pauline Burke, cum laude. Emily Rose Boucher Diana Bustamante Campusano, magna cum laude Scout Kai, cum laude Monique N. Sedano, summa cum laude Megan Faith Chalfont, cum laude Jasmine Cho Brittany Cole, cum laude. Kiera Isabella Corbre. Sierra Daly. Maya Lynn Davis, summa cum laude. Serena Loris Angeles Dawa. Brianna Arlene Dulce. Eleanor Tallulah Duncan, cum laude. Kyle Adam Ibisu, summa cum laude. Rebecca Leland Ferguson, cum laude. Talia Rebecca Joy Ferguson, summa cum laude. Jacob M. Ferry, cum laude. Tiffany Nicole Franzoy Tafani, cum laude. Julianne Marie Geller, cum laude. Gabrielle Sive Giblin. Amanda M. Gilmore. Brittany Taylor Hanchi, cum laude. Lydia Elizabeth Helt, magna cum laude. Lauren Kimberly Hill, cum laude. Autumn Marie Husky Carla Hui, magna cum laude Brianna Marie Inman Maria Mercedes Radaza Halarina Mira Rose Kaufman, cum laude Catherine Elizabeth Kirchner, magna cum laude Samantha Jean Krieger 
Timofey V. Kuhotsky, cum laude. Marta Aaron Larson, cum laude. Lucy Ann Levasser, magna cum laude. Samuel McLean Malik. Georgia M. Maddox, magna cum laude. Kelly Marie May, cum laude. Isabel Fernanda McGuff, magna cum laude. Kate M. McNamara. Mackenzie Lauren Meyer, cum laude. Rachel Leah Mylar, cum laude. Ruby Ann Parker, magna cum laude. Jenna Louise Place, cum laude. Emma Rose Ramey, cum laude. Nicholas Christopher Ryerson, magna cum laude. Jennifer Reppin, cum laude. Melissa Noel Revere. Kristen Taylor Riley, magna cum laude. Yamisha Seen, cum laude. Catherine G. Severson, magna cum laude. Madison Elizabeth Simmons. Sarah Sparkman, cum laude. Isabel Rose St. John, cum laude. Gabrielle Renee Stegmoller, cum laude. Michelle Stipe, cum laude. Caitlin Ruth Stoltzfus, magna cum laude. Marlia Grace Sutherland, cum laude. Molly Taylor Thomas. Kate Vinheitsen, cum laude. Bianca Vieira, magna cum laude. Marion Wamsley, cum laude. Anna Elizabeth White, cum laude. Tyra Wilson Bigdelu. Yasake S. Waldsenbet, cum laude. Jonathan Pei Yao, cum laude. Megan Amy Yoshioka, magna cum laude. McKenna Zhong May Zimmerman, cum laude. We now recognize those receiving baccalaureate degrees in the School of Psychology, Family, and Community. Saida Kaniz Zera Abdi. Najla Alwabel, magna cum laude. Hallie Elizabeth Anzelmi, magna cum laude. Myrna Philip Baskaran, magna cum laude. Catherine Elizabeth Bao, summa cum laude. Dylan Stephen Beadle. Katya Raja Began, cum laude. Jose Enrique Benavides Torres. Taylor Marie Benson. Colin Parker Booten. Emma Blythe Burke. Alexa Pearl Campbell, magna cum laude. Keandre M. Carter. Masvita Joy Chikava. Corey Michael Crooks, cum laude. Angeline Nacionales Cruz. Jason Dawn, cum laude. Isabel Alana Dennis, cum laude. Caitlin F. Donier, summa cum laude. Morel M. Deal. Anna Sophia Dishinger, magna cum laude. Macy Elise Finger, cum laude. 
Sophie Claudine Anne Finneron, cum laude. Chalice Anthony Gallagher. Mika Nirvana Govinder, cum laude. Titus Jackson Grant. Madeline Rose Grigg, summa cum laude. Indy Anna Rose Hall, magna cum laude. Carlos F. Herrera Caballero. Almarina Lucia Herrera Quintero. Janessa Trinity Higgs. Sierra Alicia Hill. Hui Vu Kuang Hong, magna cum laude. Megan E. Hoback, cum laude. Joe Holgeen. Danya Ruth Holmberg, summa cum laude. Leslie Jacinto, cum laude. Sydney Carol Jackson, summa cum laude. Kiana Kahusi, summa cum laude. Jamie Hisu Lee, summa cum laude. Jihoon Lee. Love Lee. Aubrey Jean Legui. China Mackenzie Lucci. Kaylee Elaine Maitre, cum laude. Diani U. Martin. Benjamin D. Masters. Lydia C. McCleary. Amber Elizabeth McGraw. Lauren Audrey McMurray. Leilani Irene Miller. Lina Mogi. Sarah Lindsay Moore, cum laude. Devin Alexander Noel Harrison, magna cum laude. Emily Joy Northey, cum laude. Alyssa Lauren Peters, magna cum laude. Daniela Prieto Rugmut, cum laude. Noemi Monica Ramirez Flores. Cum laude. Maria Cleobel Meline Ramos Mequa. Naomi E. Ruggles. Stephanie Sinai Ruiz Martinez. Marco Salim. Bailey M. Tanaka. Cum laude. Harley Ray Taylor. Deidre J. Todd. Daria Tudos. Abby Christine Vanderkoy, magna cum laude. Jessica Araceli Vargas. Rachel Samantha Wilson, cum laude. We now recognize those receiving baccalaureate degrees in the School of Theology. Jacob Z. Barrett. Blake Gregory Dolan, magna cum laude. Jose Flores. Sandra Grace Cavanaugh, summa cum laude. Abigail L. Kleinick. Dalen Thomas Lee Odell, cum laude. William Jameson Stover, cum laude. We now recognize those receiving baccalaureate degrees in the College of Arts and Sciences. David Gregory Donald Amen, cum laude. Maha Alabdalatif. Elizabeth Ashton Albrecht.
Christian Antonio Alfonso Cum Laude Samea Aljundi Sarah F. Alcaraish Mahdi Hassan Alraba Sultan Mohammed Abdullah A. Al Sulati Magna Cum Laude Mercy Joy Allsworth Zahara M. Al Yatim Felix De Lali Kwaku Amenio Se Bin An David Hock Ong Cooper James Wilson Anton Sarah N. Aravalo Nadia Arnon Cum Laude Caitlin M. Ashworth Amadeus Vittorio Arvin Awuye Benjamin T. Baird Stephen H. Barclay Jordan Bardi Emily Claire Barker Cum Laude Levi J. Barley Joel Thomas Bartlett Chelsea Bates Madeline Grace Batiste Julia Sheridan Batishal Asada Safoa Bequi Sechi Magna Cum Laude James Jacob Betog Cassidy Joe Bianchi Rossi Summa Cum Laude Safa Said Bin Sharka Mary Catherine Bischoff Alyssa Blanco Gabe Blank Summa Cum Laude Rostic Branco Cum Laude Michaela Jean Borromeo Abigail Linnea Bauman Summa Cum Laude Emma Brand Cum Laude Emma Simone Brenchley Cum Laude Max Rillian Briggs Germaine Justin Brochi Devin F. Brohard Summa Cum Laude Jessica Renee Brown Kelsey Marie Brown Jonah J. Bufford Cum Laude Sophie Chong June Burnett Evan J. Butler Magna Cum Laude Maria Camerota Cum Laude Hannah Carlisle Joran Lee Carpenter Camille Louise Carr Cum Laude Amy Elizabeth Castle Cum Laude Daniela Castro Carl Samuel Cedarberg Cum Laude Colin P. Chandler Christian Chelsky Kenneth D. Chen Victoria Chepikava Sophia Katrina Chilsek Summa Cum Laude Tamra Clark Hoogstrait Magna Cum Laude Hannah Jewel Claycomb 
Kelly Cobb, summa cum laude. Jared Ray Cockrum, cum laude. Anthony Edward Cofano. Shelby Cole, summa cum laude. Belen Contreras. Lauren Lucille Cooney, cum laude. Harper Cottingham, summa cum laude. Jean Margaret Coyle, magna cum laude. Regan Mari Crawford, magna cum laude. Keegan Dale Daly, cum laude. Sarah Elizabeth Damon. Emma Catherine Darrington. Emma Elizabeth Daughters, cum laude. Amy Lorelei de Leon. Yana Pavlovna Denisenko. Kan Yang Ding. Alexander Din. V. N. Din, magna cum laude. Natasha Rose Dinneman. Jason Jajasasmita. Fuk Hong Don. Keely Catherine Dolan, cum laude. Timothy Marsh Drews. Henry M. Duco. Jadacy Ryan Durst, cum laude. Lisa Nicole Dyer. Benjamin D. Edmonds. Keisha Lynn Edwards, cum laude. Michael Dieter Elmer, cum laude. Ian Joseph Erwart. Magna cum laude. Nita Esquivel. Mark Robert Estabrook. Cum laude. Jacqueline Nicole Estrada. Magna cum laude. Julia Marie Evans. Reka Fabian. Magna cum laude. Jenna Flint. Summa cum laude. Lane Davis Flintoff. Kiernan Foley. Summa cum laude. Janessa A. Fung. Andrew John Foss. Cum laude. Gloria Foster. Cum laude. Gianna E. Francisco, cum laude. Brianna M. Franco. Emma Katharina Friesen, summa cum laude. McKinley Irene Friesen. Kelsey Mahalani Faria, cum laude. Elizabeth Emily Gabriel. Maria Garcia. Sonia Garcia Dominguez. Jessa Nicole Garland. Nathan Timothy Gatlin. Julia Sullivan Gatz. Summa cum laude. Bethlehem Kenfe Gebra. Magna cum laude. Nathan Geddes, cum laude. Claire Olivia Guyman, summa cum laude. Joshua Benjamin Gear, cum laude. Sarah C. Guerin. Connor Benjamin Gilbert, cum laude. Riley. Gombus.
Miley Kame T. Gontinas, Alexandra Michaela Gonzalez, Kylie Kealani Gu, Magna Cum Laude, John P. Goodhue, Summa Cum Laude, Elias Allen Graff, Cum Laude, Elijah Matthew Green, Chloe Joy Gray, Verity K. Gritter, Sonia R. Gunderson, Magna Cum Laude, Vania Guzman, Dao Ha, Sarah M. Haynes, Magna Cum Laude, Joseph J. Harj, Summa Cum Laude, Sophia Grace Hammon, Magna Cum Laude, Briley Hansen, Victor A. Hansen, Summa Cum Laude, Samuel Harlan, Alia Agun Haro, Magna Cum Laude, Christopher Harper, Colin William Houskins, Jennifer Renee Havens, Cum Laude, Colt Weston Holly, Summa Cum Laude, Eric Michael Helke, Cum Laude, Frank C. Helmstetter, Cum Laude, Robert Allen Hendren, Adeline Hendrick, Brianna Janae Heron, Anthony Joseph Hester, Cooper Wyman Hewitt, Precious Nin, Lauren A. Hobday, Menely Holaba, Summa Cum Laude, Cheney Kathleen Holland, Ocean Topanga Holsher, Duncan Richard Hook, Kiva Anise Horn, Taylor Scott Howard, Trent Bernard Howell, Cindy L. Huang, Saul Benjamin Hudson, Magna Cum Laude, Colin Herkett, Hannah Ella Hutchinson, Madison Taylor Ibali, Magna Cum Laude, Corinne K. Ibosco, Clara Bell Ingram, Go Inose Cum Laude, Rami A. Isaac, Lauren E. Isaac, Magna Cum Laude, Natalie Jacobson, Cum Laude, Morgan Rachel Jenny, Cum Laude, Autumn M. Johnson, Andrew Christian Jocelyn, Cum Laude, Anna May Justice, Alexandra M. Kaczynski, Kabenzi Kalinski, Cum Laude, Sridevi Dotri Kanduri, Rupinder Singh Cabra, Arian Koram.
Jake Kim. Katie Kim. Samantha Grace Kimmel, cum laude. Jennifer Elizabeth King. Jennifer Caroline Kirchner, summa cum laude. Sophia Christina Kianitsa, magna cum laude. Madeline M. Knapp, cum laude. Isabel Marie Kepping. Gray Coldy, summa cum laude. Apitsara Kongsombut, cum laude. Genevieve Kramer Marion, magna cum laude. Cecilia Kelsey Kraus, cum laude. Margot Krutakova. Jessica Renee Kuhl, cum laude. Caleb M. Kumamoto, cum laude. Val Latch. Anne Marie Lam, summa cum laude. Mackenzie Martha Lammers, magna cum laude. Rutania Lanfear Ramirez. Haven Julia Lansador, cum laude. Kylie Lapia. Quan Chuck Lee. Angela Sulky Lee. Erica Urim Lee. Kar Yi Lee. Nathan Lee, cum laude. Claire C. Lanert, magna cum laude. Nick Norman Leidig. Sharon Simaloy Lena. Emily M. Lemke, magna cum laude. Taylor Nicole Lemon. Grayson Aaron Leonard. Amy Elizabeth Leong. Carrie May Lepsy. Yanni Lee. Brooklyn Sarah Liberato. Nikki Lidback. Daniel Jeremiah Lilly. Cameron Nicole Ling. Alicia Stephanie Linton. Hunter G. Liu. Kaylee Ray Kimiko Liu. Sean Liu. Haley Nicole Locke. Marissa Joy Lordall. Summa cum laude. Alvin David Lupati. John Michael Luders. Taylor Michael McDonald. Caleb Boyd McDuff Walton. Kevin Mock. Yoshamrich Michael P. Malabad. Cum laude. Taylor L. Maldonado. Magna cum laude. Ivy McBride. Malone. Trinity Esteline Manbeam. Marissa Kimiko Mar. Camille Herod Mars. Cum laude. Elise Elizabeth Mastro Marino. Magna cum laude. Ashveen 
Kor Matharu Rose Marilyn Mata Natalie Patience McConnell Sumo Cum Laude Kobe McDaniel Kevin A. McKee Andrew W. McLean Sumo Cum Laude Herman McCurria Megan Meredith Sumo Cum Laude Andrew R. Metz Cum Laude Renick Arnett Meyer Menaco May Miller Sumo Cum Laude Isabel A. Mills Magna Cum Laude Isaac Metalla Cum Laude Saba Mohammed Suri Magna Cum Laude Cara Michelle Molendic Graciela Susanna Montgomery Cum Laude Alexandra Rhys Moore Sumo Cum Laude Tavi Moore Cum Laude Christopher Ming Shung Maroney Cum Laude Raina Lorna Morris Brenda Tylee Mosqueda Torres Arturo Munoz Asia Napoleon Claire Lee Nieder Cum Laude Tristan Neighbors Nathaniel Nisinger Sumo Cum Laude Kaylee S. Nelson Cum Laude Samantha T. Huin Takara Nguyen Madison Mackenzie Nichols Robert Michael Nolan Magna Cum Laude Tad Takuya Okazaki Matthew Stephen O'Leary Magna Cum Laude Hayden Ordon Micah Ortiz Kristen Sumiko Oshiro Sarah Elizabeth Owen Sumo Cum Laude Joshua Caleb Padilla Cum Laude Matthew S. Paik Brianna Pack Delaney Grace Palmer Sumo Cum Laude Aurel Malari Pangan Jiyun Park Kate Parsons Proctor Magna Cum Laude Alexander Peterson Courtney Jennifer Perrell Joseph Andrew Perkins Luke James Peterson Taylor Sage Petrusi Magna Cum Laude Hannah Joanne Phillips Tron Pucaroenos Cum Laude John Paul Plain Alexandria Rose Poissel Kelvin Antipong Poor Amelia Ann Powell Sumo Cum Laude Pravita Pratip Cum Laude Rachel May Gwat Perganon Cum Laude Calvin James Kisumbing
Leah Racis. Jorge Ramirez Radia. Colin Rensberger. Riley Thurman Richards. Tris M. Rissa. Javier Alejandro Riso. Kai Monier Robinson. Cum laude. Joaquin Rodriguez. Maurizio Rojas Carrillo. Hannah Elizabeth Rosendahl. Magna Cum Laude. Crystalline Nicole Rosato Quinones. Elias Alexander Rubin. Trevor Rush. Sarah Russell. Roxanne Helene Ruther, cum laude. Taylor Ryan, cum laude. Tanya Roshankovsky Zorate. Daisy Leva Sanchez. Ivan Justin Sanchez. Kelby Brianne Sandvik, cum laude. Vanessa Marie Santana. Janine Danielle Guevara Santos. Rachel Elisha Satter. Ellie J. Savage. Lynn M. Schaefer. Magna Cum Laude. Madeline Young Schulein. Tally, Scott, Summa Cum Laude, Emma Kathleen Sebastian, Cum Laude, Dong Wan Xiu, Mondaine Karen Sesse, Alyssa Marie Shears, Summa Cum Laude, Christopher J. Shin, Sonia Poom Sirajirakern. Efrata M. Sium. Colton Smith. Irene Noel Smith. Summa Cum Laude. Nolan Nicholas Smuro. Michael Louise Snellenberg Fraser. Cum Laude. Erin Yelene So. Isabella Marie Solano. Jun Wan Song. Crystal Rose Ibarra Songko. Cum Laude. Cassandra Soto Alcazar. Heidi Grace Speck. Summa Cum Laude. Keith Robert Spitzer, summa cum laude. Shelby Alexandria Spivey. Suzanne Marie Stafford, summa cum laude. Julia L. Stepper, cum laude. Timothy John Strawn, magna cum laude. Devin Streeter, cum laude. Keen Lock Swen, cum laude. Abby Rose Serdaki. Nicholas Satanto. Nicole Helen Christina Svoboda. Carly N. Swearingen, cum laude. Owen Michael Sweeney. Maya Don Swinehart. Stacy Yan Yi Tam. Lindsay Rose Tambor.
cum laude. Erin Tan, summa cum laude. Caitlin Crocker Tan. Korean Keiko Tang, cum laude. Matthew C. Tang, cum laude. Diamond Latrice Tate, magna cum laude. Ebony Malika Taylor Walker White, cum laude. Sawa Fasil Tekle. Kai Ho Edwin Tai. Adam Thomas, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Michaela Thompson, summa cum laude. Haley M. Thompson, magna cum laude. Nicole Lynn Thompson, cum laude. Rachel Ann Thompson. Odalis Elizabeth Torres. Don Trong Nyok Tron Hung Tron Cum Laude Lan Dang Nyok Tru Avery Ann Trudeau Grace Davis Tucker Magna Cum Laude Brianna Lynn Toomey Katarina A. Tumpalon, cum laude. Anna Yamin Tun Nain, cum laude. Elena R. Unru, summa cum laude. Michaela K. Valentine. Logan Cade Van Viren, magna cum laude. Emily Ann Van. Magna cum laude. Sarah Nicole Vavrinek. Summa cum laude. Angie Kayla Vasquez. Magna cum laude. Sergio Eduardo Vasquez Martinez. Justin Suver Velasco. Summa cum laude. Elizabeth Cecilia Bostic. Skylar C. Vez. Ivy Vo. Abigail Voke, cum laude. Delilah Vu. Caitlin M. Waddle. Earl M. Walco, cum laude. Kelly Alexandra Walsh, summa cum laude. K. Yi Wang. Shun Wang. Ruby Josephine Weaver, cum laude. Sophia Michelle Webb. Ella Rose Weiner. Kobe M. Wanger Richard Wichoxino, cum laude Shania Swan Wichoxino, cum laude Nathan Michael Wixer Sean Wilcox Tristan Paul Jesse Wine Summa cum laude. Deonta Deshaun Wingfield. Olivia Michael Winter. Cum laude. Kawe Macy Wong. Madison R. Wood. Anessa Nicole Woodby. Jacob. Austin Woodford Bunthai Yan Erin Yang Aidan Yilma 
Taylor R. Yonker, cum laude. Israel Jose Zamudio. Luis Ernesto Zepeda Chavez. Ana Charlotta Zetcha, magna cum laude. Emma Grace Zimmerman, magna cum laude. This concludes the recognition of baccalaureate degrees. Again, congratulations. Our time of celebration is drawing to a close, but we would be remiss if we did not specifically recognize the heart and soul of the university's mission, those I am privileged to serve alongside each and every day. Scholars, gifted teachers, mentors, friends, models of Christian love and wisdom. I would like to invite our distinguished faculty to please rise as they are able to receive our sincere gratitude for their investment in the lives and future of our graduates. Graduates, as you embark from SPU, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all now and forevermore. May you live a life beyond yourself, a life of significance with faith for the journey ahead. We send you out from this place with our love, our encouragement, and our strong confidence in you and your future. May God richly bless each and every one of you. With the mountains of Moa's land near the ocean blue, the light that shineth there is our SP. Join the course wafted onward until all shall be. Standing true amid all of his dear old shall view standing true amid all others dear old SPU our dear old SPU standing true amid all others is our SPU SPU Let's pray. Loving, gracious God, we thank you for these students that you have entrusted to us these four or five plus years. God, may they grow and flourish. May they live more and more into becoming a people of purpose and promise. God, this world, it needs your love embodied in the lives of these graduates the convictions they bear, the lessons they've learned, the wisdom and knowledge that they have gained by living life. May they risk wisely, act justly, be a light where there is darkness, steward your kindness, give and receive mercy with generosity. May they live into the fullness of all that life and you have to offer them. 
May they not be defined by what they do or accomplish, but know that their deep value and worth is in who they were created to be, reflecting your image and your goodness. God, may these remarkable graduates live into their purpose, doing good, loving boldly, believing in the miraculous, living courageously with integrity and truth, and holding faith, hope, love, and peace. And now, graduates, may you receive this benediction. It comes to us from Jeremiah 17, verses 7 and 8. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when the heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. And so graduates, may the Lord bless you and keep you in all circumstances, certain and unknown. May you know that you are not alone and that you are deeply loved. May God make God's face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May you know the favor and goodness of God. May God be kind and merciful to you as you step into this next part of your journey. Take a deep breath. You've got this, and God's got you. May God turn God's face toward you that you might receive and know the goodness and generosity as you do this good work, this labor of love. And may you know deep peace and joy as you grow more and more into whom you were created to be, reflecting and receiving the abounding and abiding love of God wherever you go. Graduates of 2021, you are seen and loved. We celebrate this great accomplishment with you. You are a blessing, and may you be a blessing to others. Amen. So SPU graduates, class of 2021, it is time to go forward. You did it. Congratulations.